so guys, I've been struggling lately. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have been struggling, one, with making this video because I have to be raw. But the Bible says confess your sins to one another so that you may be healed. I've been struggling lately with um, a sin, a bad habit, um, and I've been crying out to God day after day, so many times a day, Lord, I'm so sorry. Why do I keep failing you? And just, you know, woe is me. Feeling like I've let God down. Living in such discouragement. Having trouble even bringing messages to you and sending out my devotionals that I used to send daily. But then I realized something today. I realized something today, guys. If I truly have faith in Jesus, like I say I do, if I truly love him, like I claim I do, if I truly believe that he died for my sins, then what am I so discouraged? <laughs> Sorry about that, kids, y'all, kids. But if I truly believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, if I truly believe that it is not my good works that saves me, and gets me to heaven, but that it is what Jesus has already done. If I truly believe that, then I don't have to live in fear or condemnation or guilt or shame. I've been riddled with so much guilt and shame because my heart, I know it's deceitful. My mind is at war with God. But the true me, my spirit, wants nothing more than to please him. And God knows my heart. And for you listening who's struggling with some sort of sin too, please know this. Please know this. What Jesus did on the cross covers whatever you're dealing with right now. God knows your heart. Now, I'm not saying that you should abuse his grace. I'm not saying that you can carry on in sin and feel no remorse about it. But if you sin and it completely breaks your heart like it does mine, if you sin and it disgusts you like it does me, Oh, my kids keep coming out here. Oh, my kids keep coming out here. But if you are struggling with a sin and you keep coming to God and you keep repenting, and even if you keep failing, even every day, God sees your heart and he knows your heart and his grace will cover you. It will. You just have to believe. You just have to believe. So I pray for a fresh revelation of the Father's unconditional love. Unconditional means we don't have to work for it. We could not earn it anyways. He loves us because of what Jesus did. We get to borrow Jesus Christ's righteousness. So I just wanted to get on here and just let you guys know that y'all may only see the highlights, the good parts on my channel, but I'm here to let you know today I'm so far from perfect. Um, when I met God on August of 2020, I had peace and joy like no other, and I have let the things of this world and bitterness and the desires of my flesh um, make me take my eyes off Jesus. And guys, when you take your eyes off Jesus, it's dangerous. That's when the enemy can come in and accuse you. But God does not accuse us. God does not accuse us. The devil accuses us. So if you are feeling condemnation, if you are feeling shame, if you are feeling any of those things, know that that is not from God. Yes, God will convict you because he does not want us to remain in sin. When you come to Christ, you are a new creation. But there are times that you will find in your Christian walk, or at least for me personally, where you might backslide just a little. And I tell you, I was even questioning, am I even really a Christian? But that wasn't me. That was thoughts from the enemy that he was implanting in my head to cause doubt and disbelief and make me think that what Jesus Christ did on the cross was not enough. But it was enough. I am sanctified and made whole by the blood of Jesus, not by my good works. And the same goes for you. So be encouraged this day. Do not live with shame. Because if you're anything like me, when you're filled with shame, it, it makes you bitter. And then that is what comes out of you. Bitterness has been coming out of me. And that is not of God. But listen, whatever sin you're struggling with, if you truly feel bad about it and you really want to quit, like I said, God sees your heart. Keep crying out to him in repentance. 
keep crying out to him in, for deliverance, even if you have to do it again and again and again. God understands our weakness. He understands our sinful nature. The Bible says he was tempted in every way, yet without sin. So I pray that this has encouraged someone. I've got a lot of stuff going on with my kids inside right now. I can hear them screaming, so I need to get off here. I do have another video I've been working on, so stay tuned. It's going to be great. I'm not sure when I'm going to get it uploaded, um, but I'm going to do it as quick as I can. So God bless you guys in Jesus' mighty name.